hope you're having a great summer again. We're in the middle of the three weeks, Ben Amisadim, and this week's parasha is parasha Pinehas. We are honored to have Mordaris Cohen in order to give a few words of Devat Torah to inspire you and your kids so you talk about these things at your Shabbat table. Mordaris, do you have any interesting thoughts about this week's parasha, parasha Pinehas? I do. It's a loaded parasha, but I'm going to focus on two things. Mainly the act of Pinehas, which actually happened at the end of parasha Balak, although we do see God's response here in the beginning of our parasha, and the later action of Benat Slavchad. Basically, these are both different acts in which we see people sticking up for what they believe is right in very different ways. Pinchas obviously is a zealot, and so he performs in a very extreme manner, but ultimately is rewarded by HaKadosh Baruch Hu because he says, I now no longer want to destroy the nation, and I'm happy that I see someone sticking up for my values. But Benot Zlochad, we see that they were missing in terms of inheritance, and they decided that this was a problem, and they stood up to Moshe and ended up changing the law for all of B'nai Israel in the future. So this is a rule of not being a victim of the bystander effect, but instead standing up for what you believe is right, whether you see someone getting bullied, whether you see people acting inappropriately in public, and you believe that it's something that should be amended, take it upon yourself and do it. Thank you, Mora Dars. Shabbat Shalom to the entire Barkai family. Have a great day.